so what you will do you will uh, uh, use a formula for u and v so if such type of function in which you cannot multiply easily so you apply u and yeah. v so you take one function is u and the other function is v got it so okay. after that you will find the derivative of both on one side so i reserve this side i write u equal to x minus 1 can you tell me the derivative of u dash means derivative is uh, so it's x is, is, is it just x yeah x okay. x minus 1 what is the derivative of this um wait, zero. 1 1 very nice so 1 my yeah. first answer is 1 right now next thing yeah. is if I say v equal to x plus 2 power 2 what is the derivative of this v dash uh, 1 1 as well not not 1 first we will bring the power down yesterday I told you first bring the power down to and x plus 2 power 1 right whatever the total power and then yeah. and then derivative of inner function the derivative of inner function is 1 right yeah yeah derivative of this inner function is only 1 so finally your derivative will be 2 times x one. plus 2 right yeah means I can write 2x plus 4 got it so my things yeah. complete my things complete so which four things I will use uh, in this case now I will use these four things uh, one is uh, this the second is this and the uh, third is this fourth is this these four things I will use in this formula in this formula okay right now I will yeah. write now I will use this formula so I will write dy over dx equal to first of all i will write v, v this v v is x plus 2 whole square v and then what i will write u dash and u dash is this one got it plus yes. now u u is basically x minus one and now v dash u v dash v dash is this one this one so I will copy this one. So all four values I will copy in this formula. V u dash plus u v dash. Only copy, right? Whatever you found yeah, these yeah. four values, you you will only copy. Means this will you uh, add them together or do you multiply? Multi multiply with the formula. First two multiply, first two multiply, second two multiply, in between add. Okay. Okay. Two x plus four. Now, if I multiply these it will remain same no change because if you multiply with one no change now the next thing is you will multiply these two bracket if you multiply these two bracket x into 2x is 2x square then x into 4 is 4x then minus 1 into 2x is minus 2x then minus 1 into 4 is minus 4 got it yeah okay now only last step is remaining that uh, I can open this bracket a plus b whole square formula so x square plus 2 into this into this is 4x plus 4 right if I open this one this answer will come then 2x square plus this 4x minus 2x is 2x and minus 4 now combine all x square term how many x square term x square plus 2x square is 3x square okay and how many x term 4x plus 2x, so 6x. 6x. Very good. So 4 and 4 cancel. Yeah. So your derivative is this. Final, your result is this. This is your answer. Final. Got it? Okay. This is yeah. first example for you. So now, see, uh, slowly we will take some more harder example. Now I will remove it and tell you the next example. So whatever I'm writing, I will uh, I'm I will send you this uh, in video, right? No problem at all. No need no need to write. When I say solve, then you can write. So it will save. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. It will save your time. Don't worry. Okay. Yeah. I'll, I'll... 
okay now see the next example is if i say another one if i say y equal to the two functions are given again mm, one is 1 minus 2x and the other one is beside that 3x plus 2 power 4 now you will participate with me so what is u and what is v uh 1 minus 2x is u okay u equal to 1 minus 2x i write here so what is u dash u dash is um x minus x minus x minus x oh wait, oh, wait. no no it's uh wait, if there's a one no, what it turns to zero yes you are right minus yeah minus uh, x minus two is it my oh yes yeah, so, yeah, yeah minus two right. yeah okay next is v your differentiation will be fine with me no problem after some time okay. then v is equal to 3x plus 2 power 4 yeah. so what is the derivative now v dash uh, so you put 4 uh, 4 then brackets 3x plus 2 yeah very good very good you learn and, uh, power 12x plus yeah power 3 no there's no power wait is it oh okay okay yeah power 3 first deal power now now, okay, now inner you function multiply yeah. multiply by what uh four each of them no four inner function the inside the power inside the whole power inside the whole power whole power is four what is inner function is this what is the derivative of this underline oh okay um uh, it's three plus yes. three only three right you are right yeah so finally you get the value is 4 3 is a 12 and 3 x plus 2 power 3 right finally is this yeah. value so i will use the, these values i will use this this and uh, this and this right the normal functions and their derivative so formula is dy over dx formula is what v u dash plus u v dash so v is basically 3x plus 2 power 4 and u dash was what uh, u dash was minus 2 yes u dash was minus 2 so i will use that one minus 2 and then plus u is what u is uh, 1 minus 2x Excellent. 1 minus 2x and v dash is what? Uh, 12, 3x plus 2. Okay, 12. Uh, yeah, 12 and 3x plus 2 cube. 3x plus 2 cube. Finally, we done, we done this one, right? So now you can see a little simplification is required. Uh, uh, as a, a good student, you will you can take something common from this and this. So what is common from this and this? Can you tell me? something power this see this 3x plus 2 power 4 and 3x 2 power 3 what so i can take common x basically but like yeah um three, three yeah this whole bracket i will take common right i uh i just give you one example if something is uh, written like this x plus one is square plus uh 2x plus one is square and x plus four uh power four so you take x plus uh, 1 power 2. So 2 will come over here and x plus 1 power 2 is coming, remaining over here. So what is the maximum power we take on? So what is the maximum power? Power 3, right? So you will take power 3 as a common. Means you can take 3x plus 2 power 3. This is common and I like a big bracket. And uh, the break, break, how much is remaining power? 1 power is remaining. If I take 3 power is common, what is remaining? 1 power. So means I take this 1 power. Got it? If I multiply this with this again, you will get this one. Are you getting uh, so because four power, I take three outside, so one is remaining. Okay. Now okay, over yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, right. So only over yeah. here, the whole three power common. So only this is remaining one minus two x. This is easy way to 
uh, to simplify this. Otherwise, if you start. Where did you get the, the minus two? The minus two and. Yeah, minus two. The... Yeah, minus two was here. Already multiplied. Oh, okay. Yeah. So I yeah, write yeah, in yeah. the beginning. Number always write in the beginning. You will learn slowly. 3x plus 2 oh. power 3. Now expand this one. Expand this and expand this. So if, if you expand this, what you will get? Tell me. Um, minus 6x plus Excellent. 4. Minus 6x? I mean, no, minus 4. Minus 4. And this one? Um, plus 12 minus 24. 12 minus 24x. Excellent. Uh, any further simplification inside the bracket if you can do? Um, yeah, minus 4 and 12. Yeah, I mean, uh, my, minus, minus 30x and 8. Excellent. Minus, uh, yeah, plus 8. Yeah. yeah, so this is your answer. Got it? This is maximum simplification you have done. This okay. Is, this is power three. You got it. Yeah. Um. Wait. Three. So, did you? So, did you cancel out the? What happened to the other minus? Oh Which no. One? Wait. Okay. You added. Never. You told me that yeah. you added. Oh, got it. Got it. Yeah. Very nice. Now we move on to the next one. Okay, so next question is, uh, if I say uh, question number three, that is y equal to x square plus six, and the other is one minus two x minus four x square. Okay, if you will participate, I will think that you are doing. So let's see, now tell me what is u, what is v? Um, okay, so u is x squared plus 6. Next step. Uh, then you have to der uh, de deriv derive it. So that's, um, it's just x. Only x? No, wait, 2x, 2x. Now you got it. So then, next. 2x. Then, next, uh, next step. Uh, 1 minus 2x minus 4x squared, that's v. Excellent. Yes, next step. Then derive it V1. I mean, mm. uh, yeah, V dash. Mm. V dash is uh, 1. Mm -hmm. 1 is 1, one will become one. 0. The derivative of 1 will become 0. Oh, so, wait, is it's. Wait, uh, I keep forgetting. Is, so the derivative of 2x is mm. 0. So 2. Yeah, okay. okay, 2 plus. Minus 2. Yeah, minus 2 plus uh, 8x. Excellent. So you got this. You got this. You got this. Now what I will do? Next step. Now you will, uh, you have to add them together. So, okay. Um, what is the formula? So, so first x squared plus six. Okay. X squared plus six, then. Um, multiplied by uh, minus two plus eight X. No, is this, a, this is, you have to write V first, right? So I should remove it. Oh, V, okay, okay. So better you write okay. V first. 1 minus yeah, 2X minus 4X square. Then multiply it by? Uh, wait, it's plus X, uh, 4X squared. Uh, this V. Oh, wait, you wrote it there wrong, I think, on the right. There. Oh, 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 oh. I have to make yeah. over here the correction. Yeah, yeah. Okay, and then um, hmm. uh, uh, then you multiplied by two x. Okay, next. Then next, uh, you do x squared plus six. Mm -hmm. X is multiplied. 
plus six multiplied by two minus a x minus two minus a x minus two minus eight x right yeah Good. so what's the next step y dash now you have to yeah you just add them together like you have to let's multiply uh, Oh, first, yeah, first multiply. Okay, one minus two x. Yeah, so if you expand it, what you will get? If you multiply this with one, what you will get? Two x. Okay, two x. Minus four x squared. Minus four x squared. Um, minus eight x cubed. Eight x cubed. Okay, next is I put this Next is I put this yeah, plus then you, it's minus 2x squared. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, we just multiply the brackets, right? Yeah. So minus, 2x, yeah. minus 2x squared plus uh, 12. Not minus 12. 12. So <laughs> minus 12. Yeah. Then? Minus 8x cubed. Uh, minus uh, 48x. Yes, next step. How many x now, cubed? Um, there's 2x cubed. Yeah, so what is the answer? So uh, 0. zero uh, not 0. zero. X. Not 0. I mean, no, not 0. I'm saying what? like the x. Oh, wait, no, 16, 16 next. Yes, or oh, minus 16, yeah. huh? Yeah, I forgot about the minus. Yeah, okay, next. Uh, 16 x cubed uh, minus 6 x squared. Mm, squared is minus 6 x squared. Then? Yeah, and then uh, 2 x minus uh, 46, uh, minus 46 x. Okay. This and this, yes, minus 46x, then? And minus 12. What's next? Uh, minus 12, minus 12. Yes, minus 12. Khalas. <clears throat> Very nice. So you, this is your answer. Got it? Yeah, yeah, I understand now. Oh, very nice, very slowly. So, yeah, slowly you 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 will uh, get the good practice like this, right? Yes. So what do you use for the tool? Like when you like? Yeah. Uh, you, when like, yeah, I, I just question. see see this one. When the two brackets are given like this, this is a product, right? Yeah. Uh, you can you can if you want to skip this product rule, you have to expand first. Then no need product rule, right? But if some if some question is like that, uh, y equal to one minus x power three is the bigger power, and the other is um, two minus x power half. You cannot expand because of power half, right? So yeah. in in this case also you use product rule. These are the two functions. But if simple is uh, a function is given like that. Uh, x plus 1 and 2 minus x then do not apply the product rule then what you do you just directly first open it first open it if you multiply this one this is uh, 2x minus x square then plus 2 and then minus x and it means 2x minus x is only x minus x square plus 2 now you can directly differentiate it no need apply product rule first simplify and then differentiate so what will be that differentiation of this is 1 minus 2x, 1 minus 2x, khalas done. This is done. You see? So the product yeah. rule, they give you questions like this. But when it is not possible, you will apply product rule. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now we move on to the one question that is consists of a square root. Now, see how we will handle the square root questions. In your sheet, on your sheet, all the questions were solved. So I don't need to do those questions. I don't need to do do, uh, do those questions. You will see and you will learn, right? Yeah. That's why I'm telling you the new questions. So question number two, uh, y equal to 
x square plus 1 square root plus 1. Yes, this is, you see, you cannot expand these two brackets. So the product rule is applicable. So you, we can write again the same way. So u equal to what? Uh, u equals to x squared plus 1. Okay, x squared plus 1. Next step. Um, then uh, uh, u1 is... Uh, yeah, derivative of u. Don't say u1, u dash or derivative yeah, of u. Dash, yeah. Okay, derivative so of u derivative of u is what? 2x. 2x, good. Yeah. Next. And then next is v. Yeah, v which is this. Can I write yeah. this? Power half? Yes. Yeah. yeah. We all, we should always write in the power, in the form of power. Got it? Okay. And okay. then V1, I mean, sorry, derivative V equals hmm. um, V dash is equal to 1 to the not one, one to the not power. one, not one. I told you that the first do the power always. Oh yeah, yeah. Wait. Um. So one over two. Yeah, one over two. One over two. Uh. Yeah, x plus one. Yeah, one over two x plus one raised to the power. One of uh raised to the power of wait it was, how how did we, minus one over. Yes, you are right. Minus one yeah, over two. If you subtract from one, you will get this minus one over two. Right? two. Minus one over two. Okay. The, okay, what is the next step? And the uh, uh, power inner inner function is only only this inner function is very easy this time round. You see, the inner function is this. So what is the derivative of this function? Green underline. Mm, one. The derivative of inner function, so there will be no effect. You got okay. So yeah, so, so your it was just one. Yeah, so your final answer will be one over. If I move this power down, it will become plus. You agree with me? Yeah. Yes. Okay. It become plus. Now, I will again include into that square root. Can I write again into the square root like this? Yeah. Okay. Now we will apply this all situation. So over here, first we will take V. Y dash equal to V. Y dash equal to V. V is X plus 1. And u dash is um, u dash is wait wait why okay, u dash is two x yeah, yeah just I, x. I write here v u dash then now what you will I will do then you will uh, you have to do v uh, no it's it's uh, v so yeah. x plus one one over two x plus 1, x square plus 1, v, u dash, u, and now v dash. This one. Okay. This yeah. This one is coming. After some practice. Okay. Again. 1 over 2, under root, x plus 1. Now the thing is, over here we have to uh, solve something, right? So, yeah. how to solve now? It's a little tricky. 2x, under root, x plus 1. I just remove this side now. I don't need this now. I remove this. I will use okay. the whole, whole space. So yeah, yeah. 2x into this one. Now plus x square plus 1 over 2 times x plus 1. Right? Yeah, that's right. So if I say 1 in the denominator, you agree with me? Yeah. Now I want to make these two denominators same as we do in the junior classes. So what I will do, I will take same thing, multiply and divide up and down, right? Yeah. So what yeah. I will do, I will do two under root 
x plus 1 over here and 2 under root x plus 1 over here also. I multiply this and this. And then this one. I think you know. 2x. Yeah. X plus 1. Right? Yeah. And then this one. X square plus 1. So, you know, if I multiply under root x into under root x, what is the answer? If I multiply the two same things over here, answer is x. Means root cancel. Cancel if I, out. Yeah, if I take 2 raised to power half and multiply it by 2 raised to power half, answer is 2. Because half plus half is 1, right? So 2 raised yeah. to power 1, indices rule. Okay, now if I multiply this with this, like this, uh, I will apply this one, this this rule. So if the power is same, so the, the uh, root will go on. So 2 to the yeah. 4x and the root will go on, x plus 1, it will come. Okay, yeah, 4x plus... Yeah, and x square plus 1 is this one. And the denominator is 2 under root x plus 1. Got it? Yeah. Okay. Oh, now, okay. Easy? Yeah. Now, multi not... multiply this with this. 4x square. So, 4x squared plus 4x. Hmm. 4x square plus 4x. And plus, plus x, x square plus 1 divided by... 2 square root of x plus 1, right? A little, one more step. 5x square. And plus 4x plus 1 over 2 times under root x plus 1. Khalas done. This is your answer. Got it? Yeah. Got it. Okay. okay, cancel. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, okay, done. So now next thing is uh, we will do one question in which uh, they will say uh, find a gradient of the at, at a certain point. And now we move further. We have done the uh, uh, product law, right? And now we will apply yeah. this product law into finding the gradient. If they ask you in the exam, find the gradient at a point. Now the topic is find the gradient at a given point. Find find a gradient gradient of a curve at given point. And the equation is y equal to x under root x minus one, and the point P is five corner. Right. Question that is that find the gradient of the curve. This at this point, if suppose 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 a curve is like going like this, and the, at this point, this is five comma ten, five comma ten. You have to find the gradient of this gradient of this curve, right? At this point, yeah. So, so the gradient of this curve we means like rise over run. We this picture is like that, right? So first of all, we okay. will find the dy by dx of this line. So dy by dx of this curve will be the gradient. And then we will. Uh, sir, I have a question. Um, the yeah. y equals x uh, square root x minus one. What yeah. is that? Is that part of the question? This is or? this is a curve. This is the equation of curve. Oh, equation okay. of curve, right? Now we need what gradient? We will find gradient. Gradient, gradient mean dy by dx. Okay. Dy by yeah. dx is called gradient, right? Gradient. Yeah, and we will find the gradient at this point. In the end. In the end of the question, when we run dy by dx in form of x, we will put x equal to 5. This means... Okay. And we use the product rule. Right? Yes, product rule. Now, I will uh, not write over here uh, uh, product rule, everything. Uh, we will do first uh, gradient. We will find the gradient. So, dy over dx equal to v x minus 1. Okay? Follow me v x minus 1 and derivative is 1 v u dash okay plus u and what is v dash v is this v means x minus 1 yeah. power half so v dash means 1 over 2 x minus 1 power minus half means 1 over 2 under root 
x minus 1. Every time whenever a square root derivative you require, it will always come x 1 over 2 under root form. Whatever is a, over here, you put like this. You remember it. Memorize, right? 1 over 2 under root x minus 1. Because we saw last question. So this is complete derivative, right? Yeah. So now in order to solve this further x minus 1, now I tell you this where there is when a very easy technique I tell you if you, if they need at 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 this point this is the this is gradient you found the gradient this is gradient right but they need five comma ten x is five and y is ten there is no y in this only x is there so you no, will there, yeah there's only x y yeah, yeah so you will put only x. So with, before solving, you direct, first you put the value and then solve. If you start solving, it will become complicated. So better oh, you put, so just, yeah. place x of five in each point. Yes, in wherever you x is appear, you you reach on to the correct place. Oh. You are saying correct. Yeah. So five over, because number uh, solving the number with uh, with the number, it is very easy. So square root of four. Square root of four means two, right? Yeah. And the next is uh, 5 over 4. Got it? Yep. Now you can use your calculator. Uh, 2 plus 5 over 4 means? Uh, 2 plus one. 5 over 4. So times 2. So one 9 over 4. Uh, yeah. Nine. 9 over. Nine, nine, oh no, in decimal, what you will do? 5 over 4. 4 ones are 4. Right? Yeah. 4 to the 8, 4 5 the 20. 1.25? Oh, so, okay. yes, so 3.25 is answer. So, this is the gradient at this point. At this point. You learn? Yeah. So, every time you need to find the gradient, you do the chain, the, the chain, no, not the chain, the product rule. Yeah. The product rule. Uh, right now, up till now, whatever I teach you, the product rule is applied. Now, next thing I will teach you, the quotient rule, right? Yeah. That is a little bit different. Now we, now we do the quotient rule now. So, the next thing is I will teach you now question tool. So I remove it. Uh, sir, I'll just go to the toilet for uh, two seconds. I'll be right back. Okay, thank you. I will also drink water. Okay. Okay, I'm waiting. Uh, okay, I'm back, sir. Now see that product question rule now. If I say one question like this, 
Wishing true. Okay, a question tool is that if two functions are given into this form, u, so v u dash minus u v dash over v square. This is only difference in the between the negative sign and value by v side. This is a big change. Right? Uh, uh, sir, sir, I think you're lagging or um, like, like it's a bit, it's cutting. It's cutting. Okay, wait, wait. I didn't hear anything. Yeah, I think I tried. Hello? Yeah. yeah. Now, can you see now? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, because uh, sometimes it's uh, too much heavy. So we need to uh, turn off and on Wi Fi. Then it's fantastic. Now, now fine? Yeah, now, yeah. Now it's clear. Okay, now I'm writing a question that uh, consists of quotient rule. So the quotient rule is 5x. I will write the question. You will recognize that the quotient rule will apply. See, this is in the form of fraction. Quotient. This is called quotient. Division. Quotient. Not product. Yeah. Now, where, uh, the upper part is u. And the denominator is v. So, the same thing we will do. u equal to 5x. Yes, u dash equal to? Okay. Yeah, 5x and then that's uh, 5. It's, it's just 5. Good. Okay. V dash equal to V equal to uh, 2x plus 1. V dash equal to V prime uh, equal to? Yeah, yeah uh, 2 plus, yeah, two. it's just 2. 2. V prime is 2. So now, we will write uh, dy over dx if this was y. So dy over dx is what I will write v square, right? In the denominator, v square. v square means 2x plus 1 whole square. Got it? Yeah. Got so it. over here, I will write v, this v. So first, the same thing I will write. 2x plus 1. 2x plus 1. Now u dash is 5 minus, now u, u is 5x. And finally now v dash, v dash is 2. You got? Yeah. Now I will multiply only. First two thing is 5 to the 10x plus 5, then 5 to the 10x again. This time round, I think it, something will be canceled in the numerator. And your things will be easy. So this and this will cancel. You will get 5 over 2x plus 1. That's your answer. What happened to the square for the 2x plus 1? Yeah, which one? Uh, for, like there's a square, like 2x plus 1 squared. Where does the, the power, the yeah, power go? My mistake. Thank you very much to remind me. Okay. But this will no impact uh, with the numerator because numerator is solved, right? So this is your answer. Yeah. So 
v is always in the form oh, of v square, right? In yeah. this case, v is the form of v square. Now, one more question I will write of the quotient law. Now, after product law, uh, only a little bit change in the quotient law. Now, you absorb easily, right? Yeah. Yeah, you grasp yeah. it easily. Okay. Now, we, just, we do this one. Uh, quotient rule more. One or two more questions. Then we will go on the stationary point. Next is, uh, suppose if I say f of x, they say f of x uh, mm -hmm. because f of x and y is same. So I'm writing f of x so that you should be habitual. So f of x is 3x square divided by 1 minus 4x square. Okay. Now I will do what? I will uh, calculate the derivative. So f prime of x means derivative of f x is I'm writing over here directly. So v square means 1 minus 4x square power 2. You agree with me? Yeah. Yeah. Very good. So what I should write over here? The derivative. Uh, wait. So the, on the top. V u dash minus u v dash over v square. You will use this one. Right. So I will start so, with v. Yeah. Um, so 1 minus 4x squared. 1 minus 4x squared and in bracket. Then uh, derivative of numerator is what? Yeah, 6x. Very 6x. good, very good. Now you are accelerating. Minus yeah. what I minus, will do. Yeah, minus 3x squared. 3x squared. And? And then it will be... Um, uh, minus 8x. Minus 8. Fantastic. Now, what is the next step? Next step is um, you just have to multiply each of them. Like yes, you, you are right. It. You are right. So, what will be the first multiplication? So, 6x minus, yeah, minus 24x squared. Cube. Oh yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Cubed, cubed. Okay. Next. Minus, minus three. Uh, uh twenty-four x cubed. Plus or minus? Oh yeah, plus, 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 plus. Very good. Yeah. Thank you. Twenty-four x cubed. X. Yeah. So, oh. what will be the benefit? Next. Okay. Then it. So, uh, six x over like they cancel out to minus twenty four x cubed Excellent. x cubed. Yeah, so one minus four x squared. This is your answer. Yeah. Then, mashallah. So this was okay. uh, a quotient rule. You understand now? Yeah, yeah, I got it. Understood. Very good. Now, next thing is some more thing I will create over here. One day. In yes. the exam, do you think they the write um find uh, you have to find this answer using product rule or using quotient rule? Will they say it or should I know myself? Yeah, that's how I'm preparing you. They will not say, they will not tell you. They will say only differentiate, right? Oh, okay. yeah. That's why yeah. I am telling you how you to recognize product rule and how to recognize quotient rule, right? So you saw yeah. in the quotient rule there is just division. A product division. means the multiplication which you cannot expand it. So you apply product rule. If you can expand, then simplify and uh, directly use the normal method, right? Yeah. Okay, now question is, my question is very nice question. I am writing over here one question. Calculate the gradient of the tangent to the curve. Calculate the gradient. of the tangent to the curve and the curve is y equal to x uh, plus 2 over 
square root of 3x plus 1. Calculate the gradient of the tangent to the curve this at the point where x is equal to 1. At the point where this kind of question will come. Where x equal to 1. I mean at x is equal to 1 you have to find the tangent. Tangent means gradient, right? Yeah. Uh, remember it always tangent when they when they say tangent to the gradient of the tangent to the curve to the gradient of so the tangent to the curve to means, yeah you have to differentiate first it means curve is this and tangent is this tangent is the line which touch any one point on the curve and move so you will find the gradient of this at this point x is equal to one suppose this is x is equal to one right so you are finding the gradient at x is equal to 1. Now first of all, the first thing is what you will do. First you will differentiate this one to find the gradient at x is equal to 1. Right? So first you will find y dash equal to. So first we find the gradient and then we yeah. use the gradient. To then we will put y x is equal to 1. Right? Yeah. So in order to find the gradient, I just make the, uh, I, I will use the, Quotient rule. Quotient rule means because of this division. The function is given in the form of division. So I will yeah. use the quotient rule. So what is the quotient rule? In this case, the V square. In the denominator, what I will write V square. Could you repeat why we need to use quotient rule in this case? Because you know, you see that this is in the form of division. U and V. Oh, this part. Okay. Uh, this is, this is. Is curve will give you curve will give you intimation that which rule you will use. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I got it. So now v, if I write v over here, so v is basically a square root of a square root of three x plus one. Yeah, three x plus one. Three x plus one. V, and then u dash. What That's is u dash? U dash is what? It's one. Very nice. One. Then V U dash minus U. Minus U X plus two. Yeah, X plus two. V dash. Yeah, so then three. No, this is square root. I, I told you, I, I trained oh, you. Wait, yes. sorry, sorry. One over two, one over two. Masha, three. I trained you. I trained you like this. One over oh, I two one root see the radical thing. Yeah. 3x plus one. 1, right? Yeah. And what uh, and you write that the, the derivative of inner function beside this one. Inner function is this time round, inner function is 3x plus 1. What is the derivative of 3x plus 1? Uh, derivative of 3x plus 1? I just yeah. say uh, it's 3. 3. Just so three. you will write 3 over here. So 3 will come over here. Do not forget it. Okay. Wait, where does it go? Oh, okay. Yeah. Because this will come down before this is come down. Before this is come down, we take the inner function derivative in the numerator. Right? In the numerator. Okay. Yeah. You cut down the steps. So many steps you cut down with me because you learn already the square root derivative. Right? Yeah. Now at x is equal to 1. Now no more simplification required. I will put x is equal to 1 and find out the final answer. Okay. So, if we put x is equal to 1 now, so if you put x is equal to 1, what is the answer of this square root? 3 1s are 3 plus 1, 4. Three, yeah, 4, so 2. So, two, two. Just 2. Okay, this will be just 2. And this one? Um, it one will plus be two. minus 1 plus minus 2. Minus 3. No, oh, three. So 3. 3. And over here, three over. Uh, the I think the screen stopped. Like it's not working. I don't see. Uh, I, wait, are you moving your pen? Wait, wait. Now? Okay, wait. Now it's okay. No, it stopped uh, completely. Wait, wait. I think. Wait, wait, wait. I can see, but like I don't see your hand moving around. Okay, wait. Uh, I just do the same technique for that one. Mm. Okay.
Okay. Can you see now? Hello? Yeah, yeah, I can hear you. I can hear you. So what is the denominator, the second one? Um, sec, uh, of, of which one? Uh, the, okay, denominator, it will be... Three over. So two, two. four. It will be oh, four in total. Good. Yeah. So three over four. And the finally, the uh, last denominator will be what? Last denominator, it will be... Yeah, also, it'll, no, wait, three plus, yeah, four. So it'll be two, two. Then two this, to the power of two, so okay. four. Four. So yeah. it will come four over here. Um, the screen is still frozen, by the way. Like, I mean, like, you're not, wait, are you moving your hand? Are you moving your Okay, you, uh, you are listening only me, but you cannot try, see the writing, huh? Okay. Yeah, yeah, I can hear you. I can hear no. you clearly. Perfect. Yeah. Now, what we will do, uh, uh, we, uh, I, I just wait, I just, uh, wait, I just, uh, Basically, it was stopped. That's why. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that was a stop. I they didn't know that. Now it's fine. Yeah, yeah now it's good. Yeah, now I can see. Yeah. Okay, now see uh, what we will do. The two minus three is a nine over four. Yeah, nine over four. Yeah, nine over four. So nine over four. And this whole divided by four. So you yeah. can solve this by calculator also, right? So two minus yeah. nine over four. So two minus first you will calculate two minus nine over four. Do you have calculator? Uh, yeah, yeah. Yes. So two minus nine over four. First calculate this one, and whatever the answer will come, divide by four. Uh, okay. Minus zero point two. Wait, uh, divided by four. So it's zero minus zero point zero six two five, or minus one over sixteen. Yeah, that's also good. Sometimes they, if they said prove this, minus one over sixteen, you will write this answer. Okay. If they do not say anything, you can write in decimal. Got it. So what is this yeah. you found? This is the question you did. This the gradient of this curve. At this point, the gradient is this. At this point, the gradient of the tangent is minus 1 over 16. Got it? Yeah. Got so it. if the gradient is negative, means uh, it was going like that. If in actual way, the, the gradient is negative, so it's go into the negative direction. Means left side. Like this. So when the gradient is negative, it line go towards left side. Got it? Yeah. Okay. So, so, so this was the um, question where we saw this. And now, one more question I will tell you that kind of things also come in uh, in exam in additional mathematics. That is, they give you the derivative is zero. So, the question is um, the question is calculate the x coordinate. Calculate. the x coordinate x coordinate of the curve x coordinate of the curve y equal to a square root of 1 minus x over x square plus 3 for which for which dy over dx equal to 0 so what did you understand from this um you have to find x like yes. the coordinate of you yeah we need to find now the question is reverse before that that coordinate was given and we were found the derivative right now the derivative yeah. is given the derivative is given zero 
dy by dx is equal to 0 and we need to find the coordinate. So first we will differentiate this and then put it equal to 0 over here and then you will find the coordinate, right? So the first, our responsibility is find to find the derivative of this. Both are in a square root. Now you will participate. So both are in a square root. So you can... We so have to quotient rule in this. Yeah, uh, we have to. First write like this. Like this, right? Yeah. Now we apply the quotient rule. So dy by dx equal to... Uh, so v, which v. is v is square. Uh, oh, there's a there's another square. V is square. Uh, v. This is v square, right? Yeah. Now v v is this x square plus three u dash. Yes, tell me u dash. Okay, uh, u dash is. Um, one minus, so it will be one over two. Is it, wait, one over two? Yes, you are right. Uh, one over two under root this. And what is the, minus, yeah, minus one will come over here, right? Because inner function derivative, do not forget it. Yes, yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. And then uh, now we need, uh, Normal u, which is a radical one minus x. Okay, minus mm, normal u is radical one minus x, and then Der derivative the, of the this is again same one over so yeah over two, two x, x squared plus c. And what is over here? Uh, yeah. over there is two. Uh, yeah, two. No wait, is it? 2x? Yes. Yeah, 2x. Right? Yeah. Whatever the derivative yeah. of inside, quickly write over, over there. Okay. Whatever. Okay. okay. This is done. We have done this one, right? Now, little bit simplification we will do and then submit dy by dx equal to 0, right? According yeah. to the given condition, this is equal to 0. Right? Yeah. So, what I will write? 0 equal to now I will multi start multiplication. This with this. So this will be minus minus the square root of x square plus 3. And because of this minus, it will come over here. Over okay. 2 under root 1 minus x. Minus this will over here. So this minus and 2x the square root of 1 minus x divided by 2 times uh, yeah square root no, of 2 uh, radical x squared, x squared plus 3 right and yeah. this thing this thing the denominator thing will go over there and 0 the denominator thing will be go over there and 0 yeah right so no need to write that one you can okay. just move the denominator to the other yeah, because side, yeah. the denominator we will move other side. We always do in the equation like this, right? The division yeah. part we move the over there. So don't no need to write over there. So now Is both denominators or just one of them? This both denominator will be only one. This was this was this. X okay, so four. then you move Yeah. This one. I move this one over there and it's become zero, right? So yeah. I will deal only this part now. I will deal only this part yeah yeah okay this okay. part will be equal to zero right so yeah. now i will remove the top area and i will solve this one to find x coordinate right mm -hmm. now see what i will do there is a very easy way to solve this one i tell you so my things is remaining is zero equal to minus the square root of x is square plus 3 divided by 2 under root 1 minus x minus so if I cancel this 2 with 2 I can cancel because this is multiplication so x square root of 1 minus x divided by uh, 
the square root of f square plus 3. You agree? Mm -hmm. So now what I will do, I will take the whole of this fraction, this whole fraction. This whole fraction I can take over here on the left side. Okay. So this fraction will become plus. So this fraction will be will be like this. X square yeah, plus, plus 3 plus. over 2 is square root of 1 minus x. And this is like this. 1 minus x over the square root of x square plus 3. Got it? Yeah. Okay, now I clear this part. I don't need this. Okay, now what, what we do in normal mathematics, we cross multiply. Yeah. This will go over. Oh, this way. Okay. You got it? Okay. Yeah, this yeah. is the easiest way. So if I multiply this with this, the same thing will be multiplied. Now apply this one x and the root x. Answer is x. So the square root will finish. Only x square plus 3 will come when you will move this one over here. And yeah, when you move negative. negative, when you move this one here, 2x, and in the bracket, 1 minus x. Right? The square root is finished. Yeah. Both the side the square root is finished. Now, x square plus 3 equal to minus 2x plus 2x square. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Now, now I will shift this x square on the right side because this is smaller and this is bigger. So both of these things I will shift over there. So 0 equal to quadratic equation will form. 2x square minus x square minus 2x plus 3. So oh, 0 equal to 2x square. 2x square minus x square will be what? Only x square. Yeah. Uh, wait, 2x squared minus x squared? Mm. This is so, it. Yeah, so yeah. Okay. X so x square minus 2x and plus 3. And yeah. in the childhood, you learned the effect, some factorization. Right? Yeah, yeah. I, yeah, factorizing is. Yeah, factorizing. What will be the two factors? So you need to find something that's 3, three and 1. So x, x, yeah. um, my, x minus 3 and x plus 1. Very nice. At least you are very good in factorization. So minus 3x and plus x is minus 2x and last is minus 3. The problem is that if you multiply this with this, it will come, it will become minus 3. Oh, wait, wait, yeah. So what yeah. I should do? The fact, factors not form, right? Yeah, wait, so it should be... Wait, um, minus 2... If I if I make this one even minus, right? Yeah. Now this is minus three x and minus x is minus four x. This is my not yeah. minus four x, right? So factor yeah. is not factor is not form in this case. So what you will do in this case? Quadratic formula. Quadratic form. Oh, the um the long one, the minus b. Very easy. Very okay. easy. You can use calculator at this stage in at university stage. You directly write like this. X is equal to 2 plus minus because what that minus minus will become plus b square minus 4 ac b square means 4 minus 4 times a is 1 and c is 3 right yeah over 2 times a is 1 right and if then the square roots 4 minus 12 is in the square root is negative come you you write that uh, that case is not applicable means complex root right yeah yeah you are here you leave it if if we didn't mistake the there will be an answer will come if we did any single mistake if the negative will come we cannot solve further right okay so it's depend upon but uh, you understand the criteria and logic for this one yeah I got it. So, so then the, the final answer is x like uh, the coordinate yeah, x coordinate will come. Maybe in this question we did some error. That's why negative answer is coming in the inside the square root. So we cannot solve further over here. But uh, whenever the derivative is given, you will equate it equal to derivative, and you can find the coordinate, right? Yeah. From here, from here, one more thing I want to tell you. 
that the next thing is you will learn the stationary point. Oh yeah, okay. So, and, yeah, I really yeah. need help with that. Yeah. Yeah. Stationary point. A stationary point. The stationary point is basically when the de if suppose this is a curve. And there are so many derivatives you can find uh, on this curve. Everywhere you can find the derivative. You can find the gradient over here. You can find the gradient over here. Everywhere the gradient will be same. Different. This one. But one point will come when the gradient will become horizontal. This is. This is the point where the gradient is zero. Parallel to x-axis. This line is parallel to x-axis. That's why gradient is zero. When the gradient is zero, this is called a stationary point. Stationary, okay. Yeah, stationary gradient. means the gradient becomes zero or changes become finished. So there from from here, so many changes you saw, and this is increasing function because the gradient is positive till here. From here, the gradient is going towards down. Over here, over here, all gradient are negative. Where yeah. So this is over here, the gradient is less than zero, less than zero. So decreasing, decreasing, right? Here is yeah. increasing. When the gradient is greater than zero, it is increasing. When the gradient is less than zero, everywhere, that is decreasing function, right? So here yeah. is the gradient is decreasing, here gradient is increasing, but this is the only point where the gradient is zero. When the gradient becomes zero, it is called an stationary point. A stationary point. So normally they say find the coordinate of the stationary point. Find the coordinate of the stationary. Point. Yes, of the stationary point. So what is your technique? First step one. Step one, you will calculate y dash. Right? Step two, yeah. Step two, you will put y dash equal to zero, right? Yeah. Then step three, you will get answer. Solve. So why? So why you, you put a zero? Yeah. Y dash equal to zero. So first you will calculate y dash, then put y dash is equal to zero. Second step, and the third step you will solve and get the answer. Get answer. Answer means the stationary point you will get. Okay. This is the thing, right? Yes. Yeah. Now we will do one question in which we will find the stationary point. Find the coordinate of the stationary point. So this stationary point will be the maximum, right? If upper, but if the yeah. if the stationary point comes over here, it will be minimum. Minimum. Yeah, okay. this is maximum. So minimum That's concept or maximum concept also come from here. So okay. I'm checking so one question of a stationary point. And it's still y equals zero when it's on minimum, right? It's always y. Uh, yeah. Dash. Then you will put derivative equal to zero. There will, if there is a quadratic equation, so those two points will come, right? Okay. So one will be maximum and the other will be minimum. So yeah. for example, um, for example, one curve is given, cubic curve is given. And when you will differentiate cubic curve, the square equation will come. Means quadratic equation will come. First cubic equation graph is like this. Right? So yeah. so there are two stationary points. One is this, one is this. This is cubic equation. Cubic. Okay. Yeah, like this. Suppose x cubed plus 3x square plus 2x plus 1. Right? This is the cubic equation. So when you will differentiate it, y dash, what you will get? 3x square plus 6x, right? 
Yeah. And y equals to yeah. two, right? Two, yeah. yeah. Like this. Now what you will do, y dash equal to zero. Y dash equals zero, okay. So zero equal to three x square plus six x plus two. And then is it, can you, what else? Now, now if you will. So that's the quadratic equation? Yeah, this is. Yeah, this is the quadratic equation. So you will get two values, one, and you will get another value, right? Yes, yeah, so, you'll get two. And you will get two values, so you get only x coordinate, but y is missing. So how you will get y value? Suppose if I get the value of x is 1.2 and the other value is I'm getting minus 1.5. These are the two values I'm getting, right? Yes. So how you will get the both y coordinate? 1.2 minus 1.5 I write over here. So how you will get the y coordinate? One is this and uh, one is substitute, this. Substitute the x into the, the yes. equation. Yes. So if you substitute in original equation this, you will get y, right? Yeah. So suppose this is 6 and this is minus 7. So which one is maximum point? Which one is minimum point? Um. Minus, wait, minus, wait, six so and minus seven. Is, this is minus and this is plus. Now, uh, which one is maximum point? Which one is okay, minimum so point? The maximum point uh, is uh, seven, which is uh, yeah. up to seven yeah, and minimum minus yeah, six. This is, this is the coordinate graph like this, right? So yeah. we are going as 1.2, and if I if I go 1.2, this is minus six. I have to arrange it further, so it should be like this. Yeah, like this. So this is 1.2 and minus six. 1.2 minus six, and this is minus 1.5 and seven. Got it? This I gave you my own example. Did you get? Like in general, like um, maximum points are usually positive, right? Yeah, of course. Uh, in which y is positive is going towards upper one, right? And it's down one. There are two things. One is cup up and this is cup down. When such okay. things is come, this is minimum. So it's, it's usually cup. negative. Yeah. yeah, negative, of course going down negative or downside though both can be positive also the curve can be like this also so in this case this is positive and this is also positive y is over here is more than this right yeah so this is in this case this is minimum and this is maximum okay okay i got it oh okay it's pretty i thought i overcomplicated it in my head <laughs> like i thought harder no, no, it's, i will make for you everything easy don't worry <laughs> now thing because if you understand the things first then you can you can enjoy yeah so now i'm writing yeah. one question this is generally i tell you now okay, what is the behavior of this curve now i will write one question and you will see how to do it the question is the curve is given uh question is curve is uh, y equal to x cube and uh, x minus 2 power 2 this is uh, a curve is given so you need to find show that show that dy over dx equal to 4x 1 minus x and x minus 2 this is x minus 1. Okay. This, you have to prove this one. Now, just uh, go back when I started the class. If I give you curve like this, how you will differentiate this? Which rule you will apply? Uh, you have to use the product rule. Very nice. So, first of all, I will 
use the product rule and first part I will solve from product rule. So product rule says that V U dash and U V dash, right? Yeah. So V, v is X minus two and U dash means three X square. Got it? Yes. Okay. And then plus. Plus, um, then you have to do, um, it's, it's, is it, yeah, V, which is X minus two. Yeah. Oh, wait. Yeah. Yeah. V, wait, is it U or? I v, forgot what is. Yeah, V U dash v. plus U, and now V dash. V dash will be what? Oh, v, yeah, V dash is um, one. No, wait, it's one over two. Not one over two. This is not uh, a square root. Two. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah, I got a bit confused. It's uh, V dash is, isn't it just one? Yeah, one. Okay, two X minus two power one, right? You will bring this two down and power minus one. This is the way. And the derivative oh, yeah. of the function is over here, right? Yeah, oh, I forgot. Okay. Quickly. Okay. Now, the finally, what we will do, uh, we take this as a, uh, you, we have to prove this one. Now, in order to prove this one, we have to simplify a little bit, right? Yeah. Now see how we will do this one in order to simplify this. Mm, in this form, we have to write. Oh my God. Sorry, boy. I write the question wrong. Oh. Yeah. I have to do some correction. This was two. Okay. okay. This, this will never come if I write three. I just saw in the book it was... Two. Okay, it is two. So if it is two, then what I will write? So this is two x. The first one is two x. Got it? Yeah. And then next is this x square I write. And now yeah. it's yeah. X okay. Now can you tell me? that what is the common from these two? What is the common thing from these two? These are the two entities and I want to directly take out common from these two. Which bracket is common? X minus two. Yes. Right. Like yeah, factorization we will do. X minus two. We will not do any mistake of multiplication because here we have to prove this one. So two X will come from here. Yeah. And uh, uh, 2x will come from yeah. here and from here what will come? 2x x squared? 2x, 2x uh, squared. Oh, right. 2x squared. Yeah. Right. Okay. Now, next thing is x minus 2. And what is the common from these two? Wait, I don't understand. Wait, what did, what did you... 2x plus... Wait, um... Wait, why is it 2x plus 2x squared? Okay, I do it again. It? The problem is that... Wait, no, no. wait, wait. <laughs> wait, we do, the, we do it again. So, y dash equal to... First, I write v u dash, right? Yeah. v u dash means I write v x minus 2 whole square. This is v. And u dash is 2x. Yeah. Minus u x square. And v dash is, yeah, v dash is uh, 2x minus x minus 2, only this, right? Because one, if I write one over here, there is no uh, impact on this. So this is final, right? But here yeah. we use plus sign. Okay. In, in product rule, we use plus sign. Yeah, okay. plus sign. Next thing is, I'm saying that from this and from this. What is the common thing? So it's x minus 2, but yeah. then... x minus 2 is common, right? So yeah. but here this power 2. So what I will take? 2x and x minus 2, right? One power is remaining of this one. 
Wait, two X. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Remember, yes, yeah. yeah. That's I. I want to say this, and then from here is only two X square is remaining. Are you getting my point? Yes, got it. Got it. This and this. Okay. Now next thing is x minus two, and now multiply two x and two x is two x square, and x then squared. minus four x plus two x square. Now, can you help me? X um so it will be four x squared very nice minus four okay four x square minus four x what is common from these two uh four so you could just four only four common. only four is common oh from these two uh wait uh so 4x minus, no, wait. x minus 2, x minus 2, uh, like basically 2x. If you take out no, 2x no. from... From these two, 4x is common, if you agree with me. Yeah, 4x, yeah. 4x is common, so what is remaining? X so it'll be one. x minus 2. Yeah. x minus 1 is remaining, right? Oh, yeah, sorry. Yeah, only, x I'm one. taking yeah. only from common from these two, this is remaining same. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. So you can see that I proved. I proved the answer. This one. Okay. This one. Um, sir, I wanted to ask: Is there a faster way of like the pro like a quadratic equation on the calculator? Yeah, there's there's some calculator give you the two uh, two degree equation and three degree equation also. So if your calculator is uh, two degree solving quadratic equation. You will write only coefficient ABC. So the quadratic equation is basically in this form: ax square plus bx plus c equal to zero. So this part, this part, and this part you will enter into the uh, calculator ABC, and it will solve okay. for you. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, how do you do it? Like menu? Yeah. Go into somewhere... the equation. Go into the equation, and over there you can submit ABC. There are three inputs. It will ask. Wait, on, on what? Like on which option do I have? Mode. Go on? You will go oh, into mode. The, It's a bit of a different calculator. I'm not sure. Like, look, I have this calculator. Yeah. Show me again. It's like Casio Black. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, in this, uh, you can... Uh, like here, you, here's the menu. Yeah, so in, like, in this, maybe if it is available, the option is available, you can do it. Right, but the calculator. Yeah. Otherwise, uh, otherwise you can uh, you can do in other way also uh, writing the quadratic formula and directly type the quadratic formula into the calculator. First step, you submit the value minus b plus minus root b square minus four is equal to a, and then type in the calculator and it will give you two answers. Okay. That's, yeah, that's that. That's the way. Okay. 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 So yeah. this first part is done of this question. They said they show that this one. The next part of this question is find out the stationary point, right? Yeah, find the stationary. Yeah, now we will do stationary point. Now I remove this one and we will do stationary point. The second part is they said uh, find the coordinate of a stationary point. The B part is find the coordinate of a stationary point. So what thing I told you in order to find the coordinate of a stationary point? What I told you? For, uh, first you have to find the derivative of it. We we already done, and it was already given. Also, we proved. Okay, and then uh, you have to y one equals zero. Oh yes, y dash equal to zero means dy over dx equal to zero. So I have to put this one equal to zero, right? 
four that x, one equals x minus one and x minus two equal to zero. Now, in order to solve this, how many x values you can obtain from this? If product of three things equal to zero individually, these are zero. X equal to zero is first. X minus one equal to zero is second. And x minus two equal to zero is third. So from here x equal to zero, from here x equal to one, from here x is equal to two. So the first quadrant will be what? If you put x is equal to zero in the original equation, what you will get? Tell me. Uh, it'll just get zero. Hmm. The other also zero, right? Because zero multiplied by anything becomes zero. Yeah. Okay, now the second. If you put one, what you will get? One. Uh, How you can do quickly? Just get one. Hmm? You'll get one. Just, just one. Okay. If oh you, wait, no. Wait. One minus one squared. Yeah, of course. Minus one squared is one. So answer is I one. Mean, yeah, so one. Yeah. Okay. The next is if you put two, two minus two zero, so on two also zero. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So this curve is, I think this curve is like this. First, this curve is, uh, is curve is x term is zero, one and two, zero, one and two. Here is it is touching, right? Yeah. Curve is going like this. 0, 1, and 2. Like this. Uh, 0, 0, 1. Like one. this. Right? Yeah. Yeah, like this. Because these are the three stationary points. The, cur the curve was uh, fourth. The degree was, highest degree was fourth. So curve is like that. So further, if you want to draw the accurate curve, you will put some values and you will get y values also. So what's the what's the final answer for this? Find the stationary. Yeah, find final answer we already done. I was just explaining you. Final answer is this: okay. the three coordinates. Okay. So they the said, all three is. Okay. They said find the coordinate of the stationary point. The all three points. These are the three points of the stationary point. They are not discussing that which one is maximum and which one is minimum. They are just asking the three points, three uh, stationary points, right? How many possible points could there, like, could there be four or five? Like yeah, that, if or? the highest power is four, here is if you open this one, highest power will be four, right? Yeah. So three stationary point will come. One less. Okay. If the cubic, two stationary point will come. If the square, only one stationary point will come, right? Okay. Yeah. So all all the uh, means uh, quadratic equations have only one stationary point, right? Okay. Yeah. Because when uh, when you differentiate, tell me if this is y is equal to x square. This is the curve like this. Everyone knows that the quadratic curve is like this, right? So if you yeah. if you differentiate this one, the answer is two x, right? Yes. So two x, right? So now zero mm -hmm. equal to two x. So x equal to zero. Only one stationary point has come. This one. Okay. Right. Like oh, this. okay. Yeah, this is calculus. Only one. Okay. Okay. Now this part is also done. You got the three. You remember these three stationary point? I remove the board. How is your memory? You remember? Uh, yeah, um, it's one, zero, and I think, yeah, two. Yeah, one, zero, two. Ah, yes, you remember. <laughs> so one, uh, zero, and two comma one. I think like that, huh? Yeah. And these are the three yeah. station points. Okay. So they said uh, the stationary point, find out the nature of the stationary point. So your equation was this one. So the equation was this one. For x, the derivative was this one. x minus 1 and x minus 2. 
this was the derivative of this question right yeah so they said find the nature c part find the nature nature find the, of na the stationary okay. point stationary points nature means either it will be maximum or minimum nature mean maximum, maximum or minimum so we will discuss this now maximum or minimum okay for maximum what we do if if second derivative d2y over dx square is less than 0 this is maximum if second derivative is greater than zero it is minimum you remember this one forever you will find the second derivative now got it yeah and you will put these values zero one and two these values you will put in second derivative zero one and two and observe that it's uh, giving the positive answer or it is giving the negative answer got it yeah i got it now, so yeah. sec it's very easy uh second derivative how to find second derivative this was the uh, equation and i need to find the second derivative for the second derivative first i will do what i will try to expand it if i expand it the first two bracket will be what four x square i will not apply product rule i want to expand it i make it simple to multiply uh, this in this oh okay yeah, yeah. so four, four x squared minus four x minus four x and the other bracket is x minus two further yeah. further we do so if you i multiply this when this is bracket four x two. minus Mine eight four x squared. square and this one is minus four x square and this one is 8x. 8x, yeah. Yeah, plus 8x, minus minus plus. So 4x cube. And this and this makes 12. 12x 12 yeah. square. And the last one is 8x. So this, this is dy by dx. Simple only first derivative. I just simplify. Now I, dif I will differentiate it again. Okay. I will and I need... You, wait, you have to differentiate again. Yeah, because I want to check the second derivative. The nature okay. will only uh, deduce by second derivative. Remember. So second derivative, derivative again. So it will be, what will be the derivative of this one? Uh, the, wait, so it'll be uh, 12 x squared. Okay. Next, minus twenty four x. Uh, yeah, minus twenty four x plus eight. Okay, this one. Now, can you uh, see that if I put at x equal to this this one zero first point if I use if if I put x is equal to zero, the second derivative will be what? If I put on this one. Uh, if you put x equals zero, it will, then be, it'll be, it will be eight, right? Yeah, it will be eight. Yeah. Eight equal to eight, and eight is greater than zero. Yeah. So what function is this in order to this greater than zero? Maximum. No. Oh wait, wait. Oh, eight is okay. Okay, it's minimum. It's reverse case. Whenever it will get giving the greater than zero, it will be minimum. Remember it. Yeah, okay, reverse, okay. Good. Yeah, the yeah, first go one we got this one. Now we will try the second one. Now I am trying x equal to 1 at 1. If you put x equal to 1 over here, tell me the answer. If you put x equal to 1. Okay, so it will be 12 minus 24, mm -hmm. which is uh, minus, 12. minus 12 plus 8. Hmm. So four. Uh, so it's minus four. Minus four. This is less than zero, right? Yes. 
Yeah. So function is? Is maximum. Yes, function is maximum. Okay. Last one now. With the green I will write. If x equal to 2 on this, now tell me. At x is equal to 2, what is y double dash? So it will be 24. Mm -hmm. uh, wait, 24. It's 2. Okay. So yeah, four, yeah, 24 minus 48. 2. 2 is 4. 2 is 4. Yeah. four. 2 to the 4. 4 to the 48. Yeah. 48, 48 minus 48 is 0, huh? Yeah. So answer is again 8. Yeah. Yeah, two same points are coming. So this is also maximum. The two maximum point and one minimum point. Okay. Yeah, it will be like this. Oh, okay. Yeah, and this is, the, and, okay. Max, two yes. maximum and one minimum. Yeah. Okay. Right? So this, yeah. is, uh, this is minimum. I say reverse. Sorry. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Opposite. yeah. yeah, it's, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's a little confusing. Right? It's a reverse process. If uh, if less, it's it's this max. If uh, greater, it's minimum. So this one, right? Like this. So two minimum point. One is this, one is this. And one maximum point. So this is minimum, this is minimum, and this is maximum. I think now you learn the logic of this. Yeah. I just need to revise it so it stays in my head. Like I need to do like some questions. And yeah, of course. Of course. And this is all recorded, right? Because I need to like write yes, it down. Yes, this is advantage. You will always use my recorded video. Anytime you can do the back, rewind, go back and see any concept. And you can do it. So this is uh, the thing you found the stationary point. Now we uh, now you learn that the nature today what you learn the so first thing you learn uh, product rule then product. quotient rule yeah. and then uh, stationary we point. Found out about gradient no, uh, and, yeah, yeah, the gradient and then and then, uh, and then what you learn the stationary and maximum yeah. and minimum point right. Maximum, now, minimum? Yeah, maximum and minimum point. And then the nature and all. Uh, yeah, nature also you done. So why I am teaching you all this together? Basically, if I teach you one by one, you will mix up. I want to clear you everything all together. So you saw everything all together and you can differentiate. Yes, yeah, and it helps. Yeah, yeah, what no, is no. the maximum point? What is the minimum point? What is the stationary point? So everything is start with the stationary point. First you find the stationary point and then decided the stationary point is the maximum or minimum. This is the case basically, nothing else. So one more thing is remaining in this, I saw in your syllabus that is tangent and normal equation. The last part of this uh, chapter is tangent and normal equation, right? Okay, yeah. Now we, learn, okay. now we learn the tangent and normal equation. Basically, first of all, I tell you what is tangent and normal. This is a curve, suppose. And oh, one, second. Second, I'll just go to the toilet again. So I just oh, like sure, sure. Thank you very much. I will drink water.
Uh, okay, I'm back, sir. Okay, dear. Resume. Yeah. Okay, so what I was telling you that what we will do now, we'll do tangent and normal. Okay, so can you see this curve? This curve is uh, a line is passing through, touching at a single point and pass. You got? Yeah. So if the line is uh, passing from this curve, it is called tangent line. This line is called tangent, tangent line. You are learning calculus. This calculus is basically uh, differentiation and integration. These are the two parts of calculus. Newton invented this and died and left the problem for you. Anyway, so we will calculate the equation of tangent line. And if a line is 90 degree onto this one, this is called normal. Okay. Right. So whenever perpendicular lines, these are the tangent and normal. And whatever the gradient of this one is, if I say M1, this is M2. I think in coordinate geometry, you learn the perpendicular condition M1, M2 equal to minus one. Remember? Yeah. Yeah. When the two gradients, product of the two gradients equal to minus one, these are perpendicular. Right. So first of all, I will calculate the gradient of the first one, first curve. And then I will take the reciprocal, I will grade, I will calculate the gradient of normal also. Now the things is very easy for you. So I write one curve, find the equation of the tangent and normal to the curve. The question is, find the equation of tangent and normal to the curve curve is y equal to 2x square minus 3x plus 1 at 2 comma 3. This is a question. Find the equation of the tangent and normal to the curve this at point this. This is a point where they are required tangent and normal equation. So first is for the tangent equation I told you before also we will find the derivative of this curve. So what is the derivative of the curve you will participate with me dy by dx equal to what is the derivative just tell me uh 2x minus 2x. 3. are you sure to oh, no, sorry, sorry, sorry. Mm -hmm. sorry 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 4x 4x, 4x. Mm -hmm. minus 3 yeah that's minus it 4x. right okay so now this is the gradient no at gradient at x equal to 2 is what at x is equal to 2 y dash is equal to Four put two over here. Yes, four. Yeah, yeah. So four to the eight minus three is five. Yeah. So now the gradient is this and point is this. So your tangent equation will be this one. Tangent equation is y minus y one equal to y dash x minus x one. This is x one. And this is y1. You will substitute now. Only substitute. And this is y dash. Substitute everything. y minus y1 is 3. Equal to. Derivative is 5. This. And x remains same. Always in the equation x and y always comes. And x1 is 2. Now only last step is solving this one y minus 3 equal to 5x minus 10. Right? Yeah. Okay. Now next thing is uh, y equal to 5x minus 10 plus 3. So y equal to 5x minus 7. 5x 7, yeah. And so this is the equation of tangent. First part we done. Easy? Yeah. Yeah. Any, any difficult thing in this? Nothing? Oh, no, no, no. That's Very nice. Fine. 
very good so this is tangent equation is this is equation of tangent i am writing equation yeah, first of, you have to find the gradient and then you have to find the equation of tangent tangent you done if they ask in the exam such kind of question find the equation of tangent first you will find the gradient and then put one point and then put uh, and apply this equation and substitute everything in this point and gradient in this and solve for last time got it so this equation yeah. this equation can now i will find this equation the normal equation normal equation is not much difficult we already calculate the gradient we already have a point only from here i will remove okay so i have to find normal now sure. yeah now normal equation i will find for normal equation the gradient of normal this is the gradient of tangent gradient of normal normal is this equal to minus 1 over 5 minus one. yeah i will take reciprocal and multiply it by minus if I if my gradient is two over three, what is the normal gradient? If if the, if the gradient of tangent is two by three, what will be the gradient of normal in this case? This minus one minus three over two. Minus three over two. Very good practice. One more. If the gradient is one over four, what is will be the normal gradient? Uh, uh, the normal. Oh, so it will be four, minus four. Yeah, minus four. Very good. Okay, last. If the gradient is uh, 2, what will be the normal gradient of normal? Uh, minus 1 over 2. Minus 1 over 2. Okay, very good. Okay, if the gradient is minus 2, what will be the gradient of normal? Uh, one, o 1 over 2. Very good. You are perfect. You are genius. You are. <laughs> okay. So now we will find the normal equation. Normal equation will be same now. It's very easy. Only in place of y minus y1 equal to gradient of normal, normal gradient and x minus x1. So y minus same 3 equal to gradient is minus 1 over 5 and x minus 2. Got it? Yeah. Okay, this 5 is dividing, so always do some smart calculation. Uh, minus x plus 2 is the numerator and 5 is the denominator. You agree with me? Yeah. Okay, now 5 move over here. 5y minus 15 equal to minus x plus 2. Now move these both things over here. 5y yeah. plus x, right? Yeah. And and this one will become minus 17 equal to zero. This is tangent and normal equation. Okay. Halas, you learned That's this it. one. Yes, normal equation you learned. This, so rest is there so much depth in this uh, topic that sometime the two normals are going or sometimes some question, in some question two tangents are given, right? Yeah, these questions are so long, like very long. But like they're simple, but then you have to remember them. Like you have to no. remember. You know, I can do this question in just one minute or two minutes. I'm just explaining you. That's why it's uh, long, right? But yeah, when you, yeah. yeah, when you will understand, you will do only in one minute or two minutes maximum. The more practice you will do, the more you can do. So the thing is that uh, I have the one PDF file. And that PDF file I sent you already. I make the lecture today for you, especially I design some questions so that quickly you can learn. Because, you know, uh, my task is in the given time, how I can teach you all the things. Uh, even yeah. these, these all the things is you will learn, I think in your university or anywhere in one month, right? Yeah. But, but how we can learn very quickly, if somebody knows already few of the things he can learn. If somebody do not know anything, then first he need to learn the differentiation and all this one by one, step by step, and then he can reach. But you have learned now, I sent you the file, uh, which is, uh, uh, which is uh, I think, uh, in, the PDF, in the PDF format, I yeah. send you. So you see that uh, I share this screen. So Wait, can... did you make questions or are they from... 
No, I, uh, I, 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 I select the, uh, the question from uh, some, I cannot make it because any error can come. So these are the yeah, notes. I, yeah, these are the notes I make. I told you, can you see my screen? Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, see, see this. dy by dx is equal to zero. So this is your revision. So the turning point will come when derivative is equal to zero. Then second derivative from the second derivative, the so second derivative is greater than zero minimum point. The second derivative is less than zero maximum point, right? So these are the notes and you can... I didn't... Wait, what is turning point? Turning point is basically... Stationary point. Because we didn't talk about it. Oh, same thing. Same. Whatever we are learning since one hour, the turning point is a stationary point. Where oh, okay. the curve is gradient, where the curve is turned, right? Oh, so these, okay, I got uh, it. These are the questions you can try. See, the find the coordinate of the stationary point, right? Yes. So yeah. if you if you see this question, so if you see in, in see how many questions, so many questions, so you can yeah, easily yeah. find out the derivative and put it equal to zero oh. and find the yeah. stationary point, and then you can find the nature. Uh, any one or two question you will do, you will get the practice, right? Okay. And what, when will I, how will I get that? Like if I want to check my answer if it's right or wrong, like should I? Is there another PDF you can? The yeah, answers? yeah, yes. I will send you answers also. Okay, no problem. Right? Uh, I'll solve these like uh, from now till tomorrow. Like, yeah, that's wonderful. I wanted to say that. So you can solve few questions, right? So, yeah. for example, so, you can you can do uh, from this seventeen A, uh, B, and E, right? Yeah. And similarly, from this also, you can do maximum and minimum. You will find A, B, and one is quotient law. You can do E, right? Yeah. So this one, these two is will be enough for you, right? They will not give you... I saw in your worksheet, that was very simple questions. Now, when you will see your worksheet, that uh, you can easily understand that already everything was solved. But before, maybe you uh, not grasp, but now you can grasp that one. That's your yes. worksheet is uh, where's your, your your worksheet which you sent me. So yeah. that was yeah, this was with the worksheet, but it's very it's smaller. Yeah, it's tiny. I only have the pictures. I left. I don't yeah, have. I the... want to. I want. Yeah, I, I I'm saying that you will see that uh, you will go through these worksheet and orally you can understand, right? Yeah. Yeah. Now, the next thing is uh, do till tomorrow night, do these things uh, one one time and as much as you can do. Because if I start the new chapter, uh, then there will be no time you cannot do again, right? So do it right now, do it right now, tomorrow, after Sahar or any time in the day. You do uh, one or two hour and then in the night we will start the integration tomorrow, right? Yes, yeah, At and all. So how do I access the recording of the? Will you send me on WhatsApp? Of I'm, the I'm, class? I'm sending, yeah, I'm sending you now on WhatsApp, right? Okay, yes, yeah, okay, okay perfect. Okay, thank you, bye bye, see you. Okay, thanks, right, good night. Bye -bye.